Well, Merry, Merry Christmas. Hello, it is Beth Bacall. Ho, ho, ho. Welcome to a very special edition of Bedtime Stories and Prayers. We've got the best storyteller with the most perfect story for Christmas Eve. Santa's getting set to read the night before Christmas. And I am here in front of my pink tree. Perhaps you've heard me share the story about this tree. My daughter, Haley, dyed her hair pink, so we got a tree to match it. <laughs> We're really grateful that you have been so generous this year with the Fish Christmas Wishes. Many families will be waking up on Christmas morning with blessings they never expected because you went to thefishatlanta.com and you granted a Fish Christmas Wish. In fact, those wishes are still going to be available to be viewed over this Christmas holiday. So if you're feeling super generous or if you still were wanting to grant a Fish Christmas Wish, you'll be able to. Go to thefishatlanta.com, find a wish. Wouldn't that be neat over the Christmas break if you could also be a continued blessing? There's so much generosity flowing this season. And I'm super excited that Santa has uh, placed a little time in his calendar for us before he loads up the sleigh and gets set to go have a great night with Rudolph and the elves. But first, he decided to spend some time with us and read the night before Christmas. Hey, Santa, Chick-fil-A provided brownies and chocolate chip cookies just to make sure you are well fueled oh i love those i love chick-fil-a cookies and brownies i can't wait <laughs> well thank you for taking time with us this is a, a very special moment the kids are so excited to hear you share the story about what's happening tonight so here is santa claus and the night before christmas it was the night before christmas when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And mom in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled our brains for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn, there rose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window, I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of a new fallen snow gave a luster of midday to objects below. When to my wondering eyes should appear, but a miniature slur, sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles, his coursers they came, and he whistled and he shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donder and Blitzen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all as dry leaves that before the hurricane fly when they meet with an obstacle mount to the sky so up to the housetop the coursers they flew with sleigh full of toys and saint nicholas too and then in a twinkling i heard on the roof the prancer and pawing of each little hoof as i drew in my head and was turning around down the chimney, St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur, from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke, it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye 
and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk. And laying his finger aside of his nose and giving a nod, up the chimney he rose. He sprung to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him explain as he drove out of sight, Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. Beth? Oh, Santa. Oh, that was so special. My it's favorite Christmas story. Yeah. It's about what you're about to do and what you represent. You represent so much love and peace and joy. I want to thank you for sharing that before you go out to spread more love and peace and joy. And we know that that's your part and that the real reason for this season is for the baby as we celebrate the birth of Jesus. You know, Jesus isn't a part of the Christmas story. Christmas is a part of the Jesus story. So I would like to read a story, the Christmas story, and this is from the book of Luke. It's second Luke. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world, and everyone went to his own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth to Galilee to Judea to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house in the line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. The shepherds and the angels. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. Today in this town, David, a savior, has been born to you. He is Christ, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloth and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to all men on whom his favor rests. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger. When they seen him, they spread the word concerning what they had been told about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. But Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all of the things that they had heard and seen, which were just as had been told. And that's what Christmas is about, Santa. No doubt. We, that is, without a doubt, the greatest story ever told. And we at The Fish and Santa want to wish you and your family uh, a blessed Christmas, a time to really reflect on what the season is about. We're grateful to bring you Fish Christmas music that also keeps Christ in Christmas, along with our Fish Christmas wishes. And as Linus says at the end of the Charlie Brown special, and that's what Christmas is all about, Santa. No doubt. <laughs> Merry, no doubt. Merry Christmas to all. And to all, a good night. Merry Christmas. <laughs>